Now, as we are commemorating Zimbabwe at 42 years, we are celebrating our heroes, not only the heroes that fought for the liberation, but the heroes that we've grown to know and that we've grown to love. I, for one, I am a very strong fan of Advocate Fadzai Mahere. Advocate Fadzai Mahere is my hero because she exists and operates in two worlds that are dominated by males, but she still manages to to shine above all adversities. Advocate Fadzai Mahere is bold, is courageous, and is not afraid to speak her mind, and is not afraid to tackle situations situations as they come. Advocate Fadzai Mahere continues to fight for our independence in Zimbabwe, that the fruits of the independence that our our great fathers fought for um, uh, before the during the war of liberation are uh, recognized and we continue to enjoy the fruits of independence. Zimbabwe's independence without proper health care is a fallacy. Zimbabwe's independence without just full education policies is a fallacy. Zimbabwe's independence without the respect for human rights is a fallacy. Zimbabwe's independence without job creation, without employment opportunities for the young people of Zimbabwe remains a fallacy. Zimbabwe's independence without proportional economic policies is a fallacy. I would like to encourage the youth out there to take this independence seriously. Uh, there is a moment in time where we're going to remember the heroes and and that have fought for the liberation of this country. Uh, people that include uh, the let me be on hand and also one of those people who happens to be my mentor but he's late, the late Robert Gabriel Mugabe. He was a bold man. He has turned Zimbabwe to the country that it that is today and he has left at the Lagos that we are enjoying today. So to the young people that are out there, I just want to say let's continue liberating our country and enjoying the fruits of our liberation that came through the late heroes that we are remembering in this time. Of all the intellectual that we have in Zimbabwe, clearly independence hasn't been achieved in that area in Zimbabwe. Date when we talk about uh, April 18th, we're just talking about the forefathers who died and then the strong men who are still now ruling in, the, the, in this country, you know. But there are these women like Olivia Mchena who benefited um, the liberation, liberation struggle through sourcing donations, you know, through writing. She was one of the very few liter literate w women during her time. But to date, no, no, nobody talks about Olivia Mchen. I would like to celebrate these three heroines, Cecilia Chimbiri, Joanna Mamombe, and Netai Marwa. These ladies are powerful women who have stood against all odds to fight for the democratic uh, space in Zimbabwe, not only for themselves, but for others. These are the heroes that we continue to celebrate because of their strength, their dedication, and all their commitments to fighting for a beautiful Zimbabwe. My hero is Father Zimbabwe, Joshua Ngomo. A hero who aspired for a united Zimbabwe. A person who did not choose between Shona and Debele, but would see one Zimbabwe. A person who fought for a better Zimbabwe, who said Zimbabwe will never perish. Young people will save it. And 42, 42 years later, we are here to serve and serve Zimbabwe. So as the youth, I'm encouraging you that it is going, it is, the process starts with you, not only to appreciate independence, but to make it into being, to make it a thing of the present. Whoever is saying, next year, go out and vote. This year, take advantage of the registration, please. Go out and fight again to correct the errors of the liberation war. Go out and fight again for us to be able to be represented by a government. Because currently in Zimbabwe, we are not represented by a government. We are represented by a political party. Whether we have the people that we are supposed to be looking at, looking up to the members of parliament, they have the audacity to stand before us and say that if you are not a particular member or supporter of, of a certain party, then you don't have access to basic needs that, that, we, are, that, you, that we are supposed to have the right to sex. And we are taxpayers in this country, but we have to ululate when we are given free means in order for us to vote for a certain political party. We don't have a government in Zimbabwe, we just have political parties. Today we are still fighting for education. Today we are still fighting for jobs. Today we are still fighting for employment. So where is the independence? 42 years up after declaring that we have independence, we were born whilst it was called independence. 
but still up to now we are still fighting what is it called there is no independence which is very sad because when our forefathers were fighting in the liberation war they were fighting so that we could have a government and now as the youth we grow up fast we miss out on our youth we are ever busy we are doing part-time jobs after we graduate we, are, we get into touting out of which during which we are continuously chased by the police officers you know it is very saddening i dream of a zimbabwe a, a fully liberated zimbabwe whereby the youth are youth the youth can get to can get to celebrate can get to embrace their youthfulness in Zimbabwe. So some of our aspirations in an independent Zimbabwe as the youth and also as students, we expect to see a greater Zimbabwe that has enhanced the type of education or the quality of education that is being offered, be it from prim primary level to, to tertiary education. So that means that students should be had and be given the platform to demonstrate and even to express themselves in different ways that are in line with our constitution. We also expect um, that the government will create employment for the educated people recently we have a lot of people that are graduating in Zimbabwe but they are unemployed so in the in the new Zimbabwe we expect to have a lot of jobs for people in our country so as to make sure that we have uh, quality lives. It is our hope and um, aspiration that Zimbabwe continues to grow uh, economically, culturally and socially and that we continue to value our social and cultural values and also that um, as the young people we continue to enjoy the fruits of independence that we fought for during the, uh, the war of liberation. We hope to see um, improvements in infrastructure, we hope to see improvements in our currency, we hope to see improvements in the education sector because we believe that if we educate our youth we are going to educate the country and if we educate the country we are going to prosper even more and um, it is our hope and um, aspiration that um, Zimbabwe is going to continue to develop and um, it's going to develop even greater.